How we all doing? I am back. I just want to say I apologize for going missing. So many stuff were going on behind the scenes and I just had to keep up with everything. I, I always wanted to make a video, I'll be, real, I'll be honest, I always wanted to make a video but I just never had the time to do so And today I'm like, you know what, screw it, I'm putting everything else aside and I'm coming back to making MMAT, Meta Materials videos And coming back in general to this crypto and stock market So yeah, you all know my name's ODR, own damn research, I am not a financial advisor, none of this is financial advice You do your own damn research before buying into anything You need to know what you buy, you need to know what you hold It's as simple as that because, I'm just gonna say it here, MMAT hasn't been good but it's been what 301 days now 301 days since the corruption has began and we still haven't heard anything we still haven't heard anything from Venra. yes mmat is up 18 percent but you really think you know um, anyone's happy right now no so let's get straight into it um over 300 days and there is still no answers from Venra or the sec major brokers including td Charles uh, Scrab, Interactive Brokers, Trading 212 and many more told their customers they can trade the shares into this two-day period. Even the vice president where MMTOP was traded on said that the ticker will trade on December 9th and 12th, 2022. Over five people that held MMMTOP passed away. People lost their homes and marriages and these regulators are acting like we aren't even human. How come brokers and high professional people saying that the same thing as us? We were able to sell our shares on the 9th and 12th no matter if the price went to 20 cents or even if it skyrocketed to $100. People should not have that stripped away from them if there was a set date just like Jon Stewart said. And you can watch the video as well if you want. It's all over Twitter. I'm not going to play it because of copyright issues. But like I said, you know, we can understand people's frustrations. I can definitely understand people's frustrations as well. And, um, you know, it, it's crazy how the FINRA and SEC are not doing anything about this. And um, nothing is being said. They're just trying to be quiet. They're trying to be quiet and get away from the corruption that's been caused. They don't want people to make their money. They don't want people to suffer. And they're not going to do anything about it right now. And it seems like, you know, we're going to hit a year. How many more days? What, 64 more days? And nothing's going to be done a whole year since this corruption has began. Like this time last year, we had so much hope in um, this stock doing so good, paying out well. But a year later, seriously, we're in this position waiting for answers over corruption like come on but yeah um this tweet was from 100 mph which i found very good as well just want to make sure everyone understands what is really going on here the federal court case identified the counterfeit stock from unregistered brokers the judge even said that the matter needed to be reviewed look at this the judge said it himself, suggesting another case would be required to resolve the matter. The case was not about counterfeit stock, it was about the dividend, a special dividend. Yes, a special cash dividend that we were all meant to be probably, properly given. Sold, not borrowed. Sold by an unregistered broker. Official federal uh, court document. You can see it for yourself as well. The 327 million shares in whole or in part sold by Nobilis through COR clearing um, were issued after the June 30, 2015 record day and this were ineligible for the dividends. Now, um, you can just see, like, you can read it all for yourself as well. It's just blatant corruption. I'm going to be brutally honest. Read it for yourself. Pause the video. There you go. Um, nothing has been going well for us and um, it seems like FINRA are still quiet a year a year to come now is there anything big coming for us as of now I'm gonna be honest I don't think so like yes um, the higher ups are looking into it but even if they are is anything being done no is anything being taken seriously no um, a lot of people know about this situation they're just trying to avoid it the corruption they're trying to avoid the corruption around mmat um meta materials mmtlb it sucks i'm gonna be honest it just sucks and um one thing i'm gonna say for sure is i'm gonna be covering um this from now on every single day so you'll be getting regular updates from me um don't worry i'm not gonna be going missing again from making videos i'll try my best to upload every day before 6 p.m i'll have a video out 
um, and if even if it's not MMAT, I'll do regular updates on MMAT, MMTOP every now and there. And on top of that, I'll try add on a few new stocks to look into that could be potentially good for the long term. Remember, penny stocks are very risky. Even to this day, the market is still what still recovering all around. Even the crypto side, you know, it's, nothing's been really picking up. It's all been at the same similar levels. Um, there are there has been a lot of buy the news sell the rumor i have been keeping an eye on these stuff and like i say never get into these stuff man especially if you're new to the crypto market there's been a lot more scams going around as well please be careful of these um with the discord side of things i will try look into you know getting that back up running again probably make a new discord server so it's uh revived um because the last discord i had obviously there was a lot of people coming in through crypto sites pumping dumps and it was very hard to just you know get rid of them i need some moderators i didn't know you could add some moderators on discord but don't worry guys i am back and i'll be 100 percent covering mmat mmtop and giving you all updates on what's going on around this company around this stock and you know finra sick they've been quiet way too long and we just can't let them be quiet for a whole year man they need to speak up and look into this and fix this corruption they've